Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When I do the audio casts for my radio program, I'm always amazed at how many of them are being edited without my consent. What it means is that the lawless person who has adapted the idea that they had the right to steal my cell phone openly did something immoral. When they stole my cell phone, they thought, I'll just play around in this man's intellectual property. I'll just interfere with his rights to his copywritten work. I'll delete photographs off his online profiles and I'll interfere with the photographs that has been saved multiple times by, I hate to say it, but probably someone as high as the White House. You see, there are videos now being played by the American president that has a graphic that I sent to the people who handle the social media of the White House. Maybe that's the reason that my social media channels were once shut down. I have two, one for my business and one for my ministry. But what's amazing to me is when you speak the truth, people want to mock me and want to interfere with me. What's fascinating about the plays that I get played with all the time is how I'm literally walking in the middle of, well, what I consider nowhere, and someone drives in intentionally only to see me, drives up and starts to talk at me, and I just say, no, please, because that's what I hear as I see them coming, and God says, simply say, say, no, please. The reason you say no, please, is many reasons. It means something in military talk. It means something to people who are out of line in their minds. And it means something to the people who really want to help me. In life, we have months of time to talk about the players of games. And the players of games always say to him, the minimum on him is $5. Well, the minimum for what? The minimum for honoring God in the Holy Ghost that's speaking to you, saying, why don't you help that man and see if you can feed him some way? Why don't you give him some cash and allow him to decide what he's going to do with that money today? Why don't you do something to pay him back for the lies you've told him today? Or why don't you interfere with his life by thinking that you just paid for something that you have no rights to do in any way? You see, a game player has deadness in their eyes. And I might accept from an old woman something I would never accept from a young woman. And the reason is that if I'm giving something back at God's discretion, it means she might change her mind. She might recognize that the fob I just handed out was about how she represents God, how she is a possession of the Lord, how she has to understand her rights to the Lord above. Women who marry the wrong people almost always get off track with their own rights because they tend to marry men that take away more than their rights.